is there has there been anything along your journey that you've kind of regretted and then how do you deal with regret because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had and if that's the case like some people are stuck in high school I've had times in my life where I've thought too much about regrets and stuff in my life right yeah and we've talked about that some in the past like looking in the past too much right, right or right. attaching myself to yeah. the past was there is there has there been anything along your journey that you've kind of regretted and then how do you deal with regret I mean, individual choices and mistakes, yeah, but ultimately you learn from those. So, like, no, because, like, even the regrets, the bad things or the stupid things, you learn not to do bad things or stupid things. You know, those all those things are beneficial in some way if you can get through them, you know? You know, if you, like, did something that rec that resulted in someone's death or some something horrible like that, yeah, it would be a terrible regret. But I've been very fortunate that that hasn't happened, but... The dumb shit that I've done or the bad mistakes that I've made, they've taught me. You know, you learn. Like, that's why failure is so important. Like, failing and fucking up and making mistakes, it's very important. You, that's how you learn. That's how you, the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better. Like, especially failing at something where you half-assed it and you just feel like a l fucking loser. Like, that just teaches you. It teaches you to get your shit together. Well, you have such a good ability to learn from those things. Some people, I think, kind of repeat. You know, it's just like it yes. gets repetitive for some people. That's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had. And if that's the case, like some people are stuck in high school. You know, they're they're stuck in failures that they had, like when they were first getting jobs, and they always think that they're a loser, and they they don't like the feeling of failure, so they keep low expectations, so that they never have to feel that. You got to get through it. You got to get through bad feelings. You got to get through. Um, you got to get through failure. It's very important, and you get through it by just picking yourself back up and moving forward and going. But it's hard for a lot of people because they that sting. They never get over it, the, the feeling of failure. And they don't have a good support system, like good friends. Like having a good community of friends is very, very important. Because you could feel like, down, like if you've been, a girl broke up with you, and you feel like you're the worst. You're a fucking loser. Oh, yeah. Like you're a piece of shit. But then you go out with your friends and you have a few laughs, and next thing you know you're laughing, and you're like, I'm all right. We'll be all right. And then maybe you meet a new lady. Yeah. Yeah. And she like picks you up, and you're like, oh, we're going to be okay. And then you learn from the last mistakes. Yeah. That's life. It just those feelings of failure are so hard. They're so hard to get over, and they they overwhelm people. And some people can't get past them. And then ev every time some new thing comes up, when you have to rise to the occasion, you have to perform. You think about that time you failed, and mm. it fucks your head up, man. You think I'm a fucking loser. I can't do this. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fuck up. You know, like yeah. bombing. Like how many times have you had a bad set, and you're like, God damn it, I suck at comedy. I can't do this. I can't do this. I yeah. suck at comedy. That's just it. I just suck. And then you define yourself that way, and you, you got to get over it. Yeah, I do know. Thankfully, yeah, you never have two bad in a row either, which is kind of interesting. Well, you learn from that one, and you're like coming out guns blazing for the next show. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it activates <clears throat> some senses in you. Did you feel like you learned that from somebody, or did you always just have that kind of intuition when it comes to that kind of stuff? I think I learned it from martial arts because you, you get your ass kicked and like you don't want to get your ass kicked again. You either quit fighting or you learn how to get a lot better, you know, and then you get your ass kicked in training, which happens all the time. And, you know, you learn from those mistakes. You learn, you know, like maybe you were stationary too much or maybe you telegraphed too much or maybe you, you got tired and you, you haven't been doing your cardio. Like those those failures that you have from martial arts are so consequential because you get hurt. Like you physically get punished and then you don't want that to happen again. So you got to be either quit or get way better. I like that. And that's great for a lot of my listeners. A lot of guys, you know, are just, you know, a lot of guys um, just trying to keep going in their in their lives. You yeah, know? I, with everybody in my listeners, your listeners, anybody who's listening to any yeah, people, just totally. people out there. Yeah. That's why there's so many self-help books. That's why there's so many motivational documentaries and motivational Instagram pages is because people need stuff like that. They need something. And generally, the best version of it is coming from someone who's experienced fuck-ups and gotten through it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You know, you're like a kind of like a library I was thinking about the other the other day in a weird way. You're like kind of like a like a library, you know? That's interesting. 
How am I elaborating? Because you just have all this information that's <laughs> passed through you, and you're able to like kind of, you're almost like a cleaner's at the cleaner's. If you ask a question, then it goes and gets the information and brings it to the ah. front, you know, and it's like wrapped up kind of. It's cool. That's a funny way. It's to a look nice at skill, it. man. Because I was even listening to an old episode of ours, and there was information and like kind of suggestions and guidance you share with me in there that were still resonate with me today. So it's yeah. just pretty cool.